Here's a three minute mastery from module one, energy fundamentals. Here we're going to review some of the popular equations for expressing energy. Now you've seen these pictures before. You may recall this as the uh, picture for potential energy. A lot of folks use the term PE. I prefer E sub P. They both mean the same thing. The equation for this is E sub P or PE equals the mass times the gravity times the height of the object. So however much mass of water we have uh, going from this height to this height uh, multiplied by the uh, acceleration due to gravity on Earth that's 9.81 meters per second squared or 32 feet per second squared. On the moon it's going to be slightly less, on Jupiter it's going to be more, this kind of thing. Uh, for mass energy we have an equation very similar to something you've probably seen before. The change in energy is equal to the change in mass multiplied by the square of the speed of light. This simply means that some of the mass is changed into energy, sometimes some of the energy is changed into mass. It really depends on if we're talking about fusion or fission. Sometimes folks use the kinetic energy equation and they talk about Ke. Again, I prefer E sub K. And this e expression is equal to one half times the mass of the object times the square of the velocity of the object. For electricity, we have this equation that E is equal to the charge times the voltage. Pretty straightforward there. Uh, for uh, heat energy, we don't have an equation per se. However, for uh, electromagnetic radiation, we do, and the speed of light is a constant. And as the frequency increases, the frequency of a light increases, the wavelength of light decreases these two multiply together and they change such that C is a constant. And of course C equals 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we're talking about the speed of light, right? Uh, chemical energy, we don't have an equation for that either. What I would like you to do is review this page and consider how work and these energies that we've discussed are related and then also give some consideration to uh, what power means. We see here that it's energy expended over some time. So we divide our energy by time, joules per second, this kind of thing. One joule per second equals one watt. So one watt equals one joule per second. Uh, these are found in your light bulbs, right? So for your notes section, please uh, look for examples of each of these in your everyday life or as many as you can. If you happen to be a scientist who deals with fusion and fission, then it will probably be easier for you than some of your classmates. But kinetic energy, potential energy, uh, even electromagnetic radiation, these things should be pretty straightforward to find examples in your everyday life.